My name is Mr. Mano, and this is the study of stuff. And this video is about cigarettes, smoking them. No, not how to start them, but how to stop them. Okay, let's talk about that. I was a smoker for a long time, and I loved it. And I tried many, many different methods on how to quit smoking until one day I realized I didn't actually want to quit smoking because I liked it. I really did. I liked it. There was a lot of things I liked about it. I liked the social aspect of it. I liked the way I looked with the cigarette in my mouth. I liked the way it felt. Until one day I asked myself, do you actually like the way you feel, look, smell, all that stuff with a cigarette? And it was weird because up until that point, I never considered that maybe I was lying to myself that I actually didn't like it. Uh, so what I did is I tried to be a little bit more mindful and pay attention to myself and my relationship to cigarettes. So I wanted to look at that folder inside my brain, that subconscious of mine, and I wanted to pull that folder out that said smoking on it and actually open it up and look at all those, the filing folder, blah, 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 the paperwork inside of the folder. So I had to find a way to do that, to actually consider my reasons for smoking, do I like it, all that stuff. And that kind of got complicated, a little too complicated. So I stopped that and I said to myself, okay, fuck it. Let's try something different. Let's observe ourselves as a smoker. Just simple as that. So the very first thing I did was I told myself, do not feel guilty, don't feel bad for lighting that smoke. Just light it, have the damn cigarette and shut the fuck up. Because that pressure, that tension, that self-loathing of having that cigarette and just succumbing to that feeling was in itself pressure. So I gave that up and that was kind of liberating. I didn't have to stress about that. Like, okay, fuck it. You like smoking, just have a cigarette. That was step one. But I made myself a promise. Along with that release, along with that allowance to have as many cigarettes as I wanted, that I just had to give myself one rule, one rule, one rule only. When you're gonna have the cigarette, you need to do three things. You need to pay attention to how you feel before you have the cigarette, while you're having the cigarette, and when you're done having the cigarette. That way I can actually see, do I really like smoking? Pressure free, of course, because I can have as many cigarettes as I want. So, I would do this. I'm at that point where you're like, oh man, I want a cigarette. Pull out the cigarette, put it through my mouth, before I'm about to light it, I was like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, step one. How do you feel before lighting the cigarette? Before having the cigarette? So, of course, one of the feelings is like, I want a cigarette. That's, that's a feeling, like, you want that cigarette. It's like an urge, a hunger. Okay, but I feel good, though. I want the cigarette, but physically I feel good, feel energetic, I don't feel sick, I'm ready to rock with the cigarette. Okay, good. Light it. Now... Step two, how do you feel while having the cigarette? Then I would notice that that feeling, that urge, the hunger of wanting a cigarette was gone. And I was like, oh, yes, I had a couple of puffs, I feel good. Third puff in or so, I would notice like a decline in my energy. I was kind of feeling pooey, sick even, stinky, you could smell it. It's like, oh, okay, and some of it gets in your eye, that cigarette smoke, and you're like, oh. Uh, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but ultimately I didn't really feel good physically and it didn't taste good. I was like, what does this taste like? I'm paying attention to my taste buds, the smoke in my mouth. I was like, actually, this doesn't really taste that good. And blowing it out of your nose or whatever, you, it's kind of, it's not very nice. It's not pleasant. It really isn't. When you really focus and pay attention to it, it's not as enjoyable as you thought it was. Was it? Is it? Step three, cigarette's done. Put it out. Checking in, the taste got worse, the smell was worse. I didn't feel so good, I felt kind of shitty really, almost sick, very lethargic, like I wanted to take a nap. Like the last thing I wanted to do was whatever I was doing next. You know, if I was on, on break from work, I didn't want to go back in. If I was outside on my balcony having a cigarette, I didn't really feel like doing anything but just like lounging and like just being lazy. And it would take me a couple of minutes after the cigarette to kind of build up that um, urge to want to go back to work or do whatever it was I was doing. So I would do this cigarette after cigarette, the same thing, you know, keeping my promise, that one promise that I'll have as many cigarettes as I want, but I'd have to pay attention. 
and I'd have to do those three steps. How do you feel before, before the cigarette, during the cigarette, and after the cigarette. And I kept doing that over and over again. And all of a sudden that folder, that folder in here that we were talking about earlier that, that says smoking on it, all of a sudden files started going into this folder and those files that were going into this folder were that reminder of how shitty it tastes, how crappy I felt and how it stunk and all that stuff. And every time I pull a cigarette to have another one, remember guilt free, there's a subconscious reminder of kind of like, you remember how crappy you felt last time? And then what I noticed is after about a week or so of really paying attention to how I felt, I wanted that cigarette less and less. So instead of having 15 cigarettes in a day, I started noticing that I was having 10 cigarettes in a day because I was cutting out those five because I didn't want to feel those feelings that I felt after I was done a cigarette. Lo and behold, after a while, it didn't really take all that long. I had actually deprogrammed myself and kind of went, why the hell are you smoking? That voice inside my head that wanted the cigarette was also saying, yeah, we want a cigarette, but it kind of, it kind of feel like shit. It, it, it kind of isn't all of that great. And all of a sudden, I started asking myself, then why are you smoking? That voice in my head was telling me, dude, do you really want the cigarette? Like, do you want it? And eventually, I didn't really want it anymore. And then all I had to do was deal with the Nick Fits, which didn't take that long, only like three or four days. But that program, that part of you, that makes you do those things that you watch yourself doing and you don't even know why you're doing them, that program was gone. That program had rewritten itself to the point where I was, that program was, sorry, let me just say that again. That program, that file, that in those, that filing folder of smoking, there was a, a, a different program saying, dude, do you really want this cigarette? Because you feel like shit after. And I don't. That's it. See you next time. Bye.